Hello everybody and welcome to episode 390 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. Vicky, you got a haircut. I know. What's that all about? Well, you gotta look good, you know? I mean, I, would, I wouldn't know. Right. Uh, so a little bit of a little bit of a crazy weekend here in the Greater Toronto area. Disgusting. Uh, it is April, middle of April, uh, April four, April fifteenth and sixteenth. We get a, a full blown ice storm. What the hell? And like we're talking raining ice yeah. pellets for forty eight hours straight. The one thing it was like it was like it rained. Yeah. And then it froze that, and right. then it, it snowed on top of that, and then it rained on top of that. Yeah. See, so had this like cake of ice. I was trying to shovel my driveway. It was like two no, inches of ice. No, you can't. It was crazy, man. You can't. Did you end up shoveling it? I gave up. Most of it. Yeah. Oh, it my arms I have a really hurt. long driveway. You know where yeah. all my Rolls Royces and Caddies are parked. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. You I know. seen it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was crazy. 48 hours of just straight ice, just raining down on us. Um, I did had you lose a, power? I got a, I had a power outage too. No, it like flashed, but uh, I couldn't go to Sarnia. I was supposed to go to Sarnia Comic Con. That's right, you had to cancel, eh? The roads so, were messed. I'm so pissed, man. I'm so yeah. Pissed. I was at home having my own Comic Con. No one showed up. Yeah, sorry, I, I got the invite, yeah, but I guess I don't know. you know. I thought I thought I thought thirty five dollars admission was <laughs> just a little too much hey, for a uh, tour of your space. bedroom. Um, all right. Anyway, we've got a lot to go over today. It's a huge week for comics. Thankfully, the uh, negative weather over the weekend did not impact the delivery of our comics this week. So, Ricky, let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right. Before we get to the books, we got something very important to talk about, and that is free comic book day. That's right. It's just around the corner. Saturday, May 5th, 2018. Comic shops all over the world are going to be participating. Uh, and nobody does Free Comic Book Day quite like Stadium does Free Comic Book Day. Coming soon, uh, in the weeks leading up to Free Comic Book Day, and there's only a few weeks left, let's be honest, uh, we'll do a full unboxing of all the Free Comic Book Day issues. We'll go into details on, the, on all of the awesome things that are going to be happening at Stadium Comics. One thing that we're really uh, excited about this year and that we announced just recently on our Facebook page, uh, which, by the way, facebook.com slash stadiumcomics, you can get all of our event info and everything like that uh, over on our Facebook page. But um, three of our special guest artists that are going to be here at Free Comic Book Day, uh, each of them have uh, a comic book that is one of the free books this year. And we're really excited about that. We've never had that before. Uh, had three artists who had free books out. Uh, you know, we've, we've had like one artist before that's had a free book out, uh, but this is the first time we've had three. So we've got Alex Milne coming. Alex is a, uh, uh, you know, renowned Transformers artist. Uh, he's the uh, artist on Transformers Unicron issue zero, which will be out on Free Comic Book Day. Um, and available for free and that you can then get signed. We've also got Jamal Campbell coming uh, who has been doing all kinds of work for Marvel and DC over the last little while plus uh, his work for Boom Studios on uh, Power Rangers and it is the Power Rangers free comic book day special that he's actually done the cover for so Jamal will be here to sign uh, copies of that book that's being given away for free and then uh, finally we have Leonard Kirk coming uh, Leonard Kirk is the, uh, recently he was the artist on All New Wolverine, currently he's the artist on Black Panther, and um, he's going to be uh, uh, doing the pencils for the Captain Canuck Invasion comic book, which will be given away for free on Free Comic Book Day as well. So lots of awesome stuff going on. Stay tuned for more details about our event and what we're going to be doing. We've got some special things planned, uh, and uh, yeah, let's get to this week's comics. All right, first up today, we've got Kick-Ass, issue three. Star Trek Discovery, Succession, issue number one. Black Hammer is back, and this is part one of the uh, new storyline, Age of Doom. And this is a regular cover, and this is the Scotty Young cover. A new one from Image Comics, it is Skyward, issue number one. Optimus Prime, number 17. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number 26. The fallout from the shocking events of issue 25. Here we have the variant cover. Forgot to mention the cover by uh, Free Comic Book Day guest 
Jamal Campbell. Sonic the Hedgehog issue number three has these two regular covers and here's the variant cover. Okay, we've got a couple of True Believers reprints today. Remember the theme this month is Thanos and everything related to Thanos. Uh, so we've got Rebirth of Thanos reprinted here for $1 US. And we've got issue one of Jonathan Hickman's Infinity reprinted here. A new kid-friendly book from the folks at Marvel. It is Marvel Superhero Adventures, issue number one. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, number 18. Incredible Hulk, number 715. A very violent cover for Weapon X, Blood, Sweat, and Claws. This is issue 16. Weapon H, number two. Very beautiful cover drawn here by Phil Noto. This is X-Men Gold, number 26. Till Death Do Us Part, part one. Black Panther, number 172. Current Black Panther artist Leonard Kirk going to be at our free comic book day on Saturday, May 5th. And here is the variant cover for that book. Avengers No Surrender. This is issue 689, but it's also part 15 of the No Surrender story. Here is the variant cover. Infinity Countdown at number 2. This is an awesome cover here by Nick Bradshaw. Here is an Addy Granov variant. And here is a very cool Ron Lim variant. Venomized issue number 3. Here's the Venomized variant. Got a second printing of this True Believers reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, titled here Venom vs. Spider-Man. It is the first appearance of Venom in uh, Spider-Man comics. And it's a classic issue and you can pick this up for only a dollar US. We've also got third printing reprints today of issue 795 and 796 of Amazing Spider-Man, the lead up to this Red Goblin storyline. And new on shelves today is the penultimate issue, Dan Slott's run on Amazing Spider-Man. It is Go, uh, Go Down Swinging Part 3, Amazing Spider-Man number 799. Awesome Alex Ross cover here. And here's the variant cover for that book. All right, moving on to DC Comics. It's a big week for DC. Somebody's celebrating their 1,000th issue. It's not Nightwing. Nightwing is on issue 43. Injustice 2, number 24. Damage, issue number 4. Harley Quinn, number 42. Old Lady Harley. Does this cover look familiar to anybody? Kind of does, right? It's uh, a play, of course, on Old Man Logan, the first Old Man Logan issue. And uh, look, we got Red Tool this has come back to join in the fun. And uh, Old Lady Harley. So this should be a fun issue. Here is the variant cover for this book. Brave and the Bold, issue number three. Really cool cover for Super Sons number 15 here by, by uh, Dustin Nguyen. Batman Ninja Turtles 2, issue six of six. Batman Sins of the Father, number three. Mr. Miracle, number eight. This is the variant cover. Batman Creature of the Night, book three. Batman number 45, covered by Tony Daniel here. He's saying that Booster Gold must die. Here is the variant for uh, Batman number 45. You're going to be seeing this a lot more uh, in the coming future from DC Comics, but they want their variants to be more focused on the art, uh, so less uh, in the way of titles and issue numbers. Uh, that's just very um, uh, minimal down here in the corner. And uh, they're kicking it off with a fantastic cover here by Jim Lee. Batwoman number 14. This is an awesome Michael Cho variant. Here's Justice League 43, the J.G. Jones variant. Superman issue 45. This is the variant cover. Paying tribute to Neil Adams. Uh, iconic cover with Superman breaking the chains. All right, and this is the book that everybody's going to be after today. It is Action Comics issue number 1000. 80 pages. Uh, the this cover, the regular cover, is square bound instead of stapled. Um, it's got a $7.99 uh, U.S. cover price. It's going to be about $9.99 here in Canada. Uh, and this is an awesome cover by Jim Lee. And yes, the red trunks are back. Everybody's excited about that. There's also several variants that are available for this issue. Uh, first up, we have the blank cover variant. The 1930s variant cover by Steve Rude. The 1940s cover by uh, Michael Cho. The 1950s cover by Dave Givens. 1960s cover by Mike and Laura Allred. It's the 1970s tribute cover by Jim Steranko. The 1980s variant cover by Joshua Middleton. Here's the 1990s variant cover by Dan Jurgens and Kevin Nolan. And the 2000s variant cover by Lee Bermeo. I love that they've uh, 
represented the logo from each area too on each of those variant covers. So big day for Superman fans, Action Comics 1000. Do expect that your local shop will be sold out of them. Um, it's going to be a hot book. I see, I've seen a lot of press coverage for it already. Uh, collectors and uh, casual fans will be coming into stores to pick up their copies. Uh, you know, if you didn't pre-order, uh, I know a lot of stores like Stadium Comics and a bunch of other stores offered up covers in advance uh, for people who wanted to reserve uh, the cover that they wanted. Uh, it's an excellent service offered by comic shops and uh, people who didn't pre-order may miss out today when they go into their local shop um, because it's an expensive book. $7.99 US cover, $10 Canadian. Um, comic shops uh, would have had to order um, you know, to satisfy everybody out there would have had to order a whole bunch, but but yeah, always remember to pre-order with your local shop when you can so you don't miss the big issues like this one. All right, everybody, it is prize time as per usual. Last week I asked you uh, who you'd want in your golf foursome, which BT dubs your golf foursome would mean you plus three other people. A lot of people pick four superheroes. Come on, guys, like... I, I guess if you don't want to play golf and you just want to watch superheroes play golf, that's fine. But but come on, man. You're important, too. I want you to be in this team. So, I mean, some people, it's a fivesome now instead of a foursome. Uh, SDN said Deadpool and Deadshot because they can shoot. And Falcon because he can score birdies. There you go. Uh, Albert Bailey said Captain America and Batman because they're athletic. Flash for speed. And Constantine or Constantine, so he can hex all the other players to lose. Uh, I don't think in golf you really need to be very athletic. So the fact that Superman, or the fact that Batman and Captain America are athletic, I mean, it's good. I'm glad that they're athletic. Golf's not a very uh, physical as a sport. So, I mean, it might be. I don't know, Kevin? Is it is it physically intensive golf? Golf? Yeah, man. You gotta be in peak yeah. physical condition. Yeah, see, I didn't uh, know. There's a golfer named John Daly, Ricky, who I think you would like. Okay. He's he's a bit he's like a big guy, heavy guy, right. and he would go around like smoking cigarettes between <laughs> holes. Uh, but on the opposite end, like today's top golfers are in like peak physical physical condition. Okay. And it's uh, you know, a lot of uh, muscles are needed to power the ball where it needs to go and uh, yeah, there's a lot of walking on that golf course. You're not allowed to go. Professional golfers can't take golf carts. Really? They gotta I walk. I didn't know that. Comics Guys Rules says the three I would pick for my team of golf foursome would have to be Fred Flintstone, who's a great golfer, Big Barda, who could crush the ball and look amazing in a golf skirt, and Squirrel Girl, who could help us find all the lost golf balls. Um, Fred Flintstone is probably the the best option to choose. I mean, he's got those twinkle toes. I know it's not bowling, but you need twinkle toes in, uh, in golf, right? Uh, Richie Ruiz said, I'd like to have X-23, Rogue, and Psylocke to be my foursome, but what what's with this golf you speak of? Badoom Choo! <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there, you son of a gun. What is this, Cool Ricky in the house now? What is this? Uh, the Mac Phantom said my golf team would be Deadshot because he'd be a Deadshot at Holes in One. Lars from Black Hole Hunters Club because Hole is in the title. Yeah, yeah you get it. Luke Skywalker, because he's blown up the Death Star by getting a hole in one. And Neil deGrasse Tyson, he knows the science of golf swing. True story, he's on YouTube talking about it. And it's one thing to talk about it, it's another thing to be about it. So I want to see Neil deGrasse Tyson put his money where his mouth is, and I want to see him hit some hole in ones. But the winner goes to the comic Otaku, who said Hulk for the long range, Deadshot for accuracy, Spider Man because he's cool, and Ant Man to help me cheat. That'd be amazing, man. Like, you'd have. I mean, you got you got your four, five some like I criticize everyone for, but Ant Man is the secret character. He's really small; no one can see him, and he's there with the ball, just throwing it in the holes. So I'm gonna give it to that one for the sheer creativity of it all. So congratulations, Comic Utaku! You'll be entered into the draw at the end of the, the month. All right, for this week's question, in honor of Action Comics one Tuzin, one Tuzin. We're going to ask you what comic you'd like to see hit issue 1000. And, I mean, you could go with the regular answers like, oh, Batman, wow, Spider-Man, wow. But let's get, some, let's get some creative stuff going on. What series does not deserve to get 1000, but you'd like to see hit 1000? Now, you can say anything you want, but uh, I personally would like to see uh, Adventure Time hit 1000 because Adventure Time is great and it should just continue forever. 
How about Unboxing Wednesdays? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could survive that long, Kevin. I don't know if I could hit a thousand. We're already at 400. That's too much right there. So, so let us know in the comments what issue, what comic you'd like to see hit uh, issue 1000. And the winner will be entered into the draw that will be happening at the end of the month. Alright everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember about our free comic book day. Facebook.com slash Stadium Comics. Get more details on it there. Looking forward to seeing each and every one of you. Yes, that's right. All viewers of Unboxing Wednesdays. Uh, we're offering across... free travel to Brampton. Just fill out the form. Yes, but it's with a $10,000 purchase at Stadium Comics. Yeah. Free with purchase. <laughs> FWP, as we like to call it. Um, no. Would you actually, if someone was willing to spend $10,000 at the store, would you actually fly them down here? Um... Does it have to be like on an airplane? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like first class. <laughs> first class? No, first class is gonna be like ten grand right there. What? No. Yeah, first class is expensive. What if they're like in New York? Uh, yeah, you know, I could probably get like a JetBlue flight up to Buffalo and then like drive across <laughs> the border, pick them up, at the pick them up at Buffalo. Jeez. Oh, because uh, JetBlue doesn't fly to Toronto, but it flies to Buffalo, and Buffalo's pretty yeah. close. Maybe we go see a Bison's game. Yeah. Stay in the um, Thank you for this. Okay. All right. All right. Anyway. You can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. And we will see all of you next time for episode 491 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. No, not 491. 391 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week.